Hey guys, I'm Lawrence. And I'm Josh. And in today's news video, we're going to be running through the biggest headlines, including recapping the Indie Games Festival. Plus, we'll also bring you a first look at Disco Dodgeball on Steam Early Access. So let's get to it. This week saw the release of two exciting games on Steam. Mercenary Kings is a run and gun platform coming from Tribute Games after a year and a half of development. Playing as either Empress or King, you have 100 missions to complete and hundreds of customizable gun parts to collect and combine to make the deadliest weapon. It also packs local and online multiplayer. Ether 1 is a first person game with narrative exploration in the vein of the Stanley Parable, Dear Esther and Gone Home. There are two paths available for players. One for those wishing to simply explore the wonderful town of Pinwheel and another tailored to those seeking brain teasing puzzles. The story, which you unfold at your own pace, details the fragility of the human mind. Along with game releases, there were some impressive projects put up on Kickstarter. Set amidst a giant storm on Mars, the Red Solstice delivers a squad based strategy blended with RPG elements for up to 8 players. Grave is an open world surrealist survival horror experience where light is your only weapon in a constantly changing reality. Race against time through the recesses of hell in Demon Girl, a 2D pixelated adventure packing high speed runner action. Still Alive is an online 2D multiplayer platform survival game in which you are pitted against monsters and other players. Bionic Fighters, the indie version of Super Smash Bros, is launching its Kickstarter campaign March 31. It's planned to have a multi-platform release on Steam, PS4 and Ouya. So remember to look out for this exciting project. This week we had an early preview of Robot Roller Derby Disco Dodgeball, or simply Disco Dodgeball. It's out now for the general public on Steam Early Access, but here's your first look. Head to the garage, strap on a funky moustache, pick a colour and you're ready for some crazy disco dodgeball action. The game is, at its very core, multiplayer focused virtual dodgeball, hyped up with spectacular disco lights and music. The characters you control are motorised unicycle robot things with the power to pick up and throw balls without any arms. Passing through a ball will grant you possession of it, and left click will throw it. Like in dodgeball, the aim is to dodge any incoming balls, and hit your opponents and knock them out. And unlike dodgeball, you're an android on wheels, so you get a fuel charge boost to make zippy dodges and can jump vertically or via ramps. What your aim is depends on the game mode. In elimination, it's about winning rounds by knocking out your opponents. And in deathmatch, it's all about racking up the most kills. There are other game modes, and they can be played in a team or free for all setup. On top of that are several arenas which require different strategy. We played a pre-release version of Disco Dodgeball and only had trouble finding games when America and the UK were asleep. So now the early access version is out to the public, you should have no issues. 2013 was a fantastic year for indie gaming and it was pretty much concluded midweek by the 16th annual Indie Games Festival. Papers Please cleaned up, taking out the awards for excellence in design and narrative and the Seamus McNally Grand Prize. The Stanley Parable proved it was a crowd favourite taking out the Audience Award. And Risk of Rain, which proved a hit when it released last November, was on as the best student game. Well, that brings us to the end of this video. If you want more, remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching, I've been Lawrence. And I've been Josh. See you next time here on Indie Former. You give me a give us out, me a beat. No, I'm touched, I'm touched. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>